What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub, and let's get into this. So, we hear this a lot, actually, of a lot of the louder voices, a lot of the people who do who you even think like really do believe in this actually don't, or at least they didn't once upon a time. And what am I talking about? Well, the comments from Bone Tomahawk, which if you haven't seen that movie, go watch that. Uh, Bone Tomahawk producer claims that Leslie Headland former personal assistant to Harvey Weinstein uh, and the Acolyte showrunner used to be based and would have shat all over the Acolyte for its stupid gender motives and dumb physics. And actually, before we get into his comments, I will say I found it very funny, uh, and I think this is referenced later on, that Leslie went on to lament the fact that even though it was her decision to make them four switches in a matriarchal society with no men, and then introduced the idea that those two women created uh, the twins with immaculate conception and the thread and the force or whatever, whatever, and then filled it, the whole show, with cultural Marxist uh, and obviously queer-coded themes and agenda. So it's a shock that she would lament the fact that that's what we got from it when that's when she wrote into it, when it seems like in the past, that's not the direction she would have gone at all. And so let's see this. Uh, Bone Tomahawk producer Dallas Sunnier uh, recently claimed that the Acolyte showrunner used to be base and she would have shot all over the Acolyte for its stupid gender motives, uh, gender motives and dumb physics. And so we can say in an Instagram story posted earlier this month, uh, and let's just read. Here it is. Here's what he said earlier this month regarding Leslie Headland. I would say lesbian headlamp. <laughs> Leslie Headland. The Acolyte makes me sad on many levels. Star Wars is awesome, was awesome. Correct. I think that's where a lot of us are right now. I discovered Leslie in a 15-seat theater on Santa Monica Boulevard back in 2007. L like Greta, I locked arms with this woman and forced Hollywood to pay attention to her. Leslie was so freaking based back then, she would have shit all over the acolyte for its stupid, stupid gender motives and dumb physics like fire in outer space. And not... Because obviously we've seen fire in outer space. The people that are being disingenuous when we say this, we mean the free-flowing campfire that is not like using an existing oxygen source. It's being shot out of the ship. It's just in there flowing in space wind. Uh, yeah. Um, I last saw her in 2017, and she was still her old self. Hmm. When did Me Too start? Interesting. Uh, but her reboot of Heather's co-starring an even younger at I Am Brett Cooper soon got canceled very publicly for all the wrong, dumb reasons, and it really shook her spirits. I saw her lean into modern victim mentality more with Russian Doll on Netflix, and really no turning back from there. Hey, look, we all get older. We all got to pay the bills, and the world cracked. I get it. But it is just sad to see someone I managed for over eight years and cared so much about become the very thing she and I would mock mercilessly for a decade. <laughs> A couple of theories I have, I think a lot of the celebs that we actually see are in fact based and they have their own belief systems that are probably more aligned with us than you would think. That being said, look at the world they live in and specifically her who, look, I fully believe that she had something to do and she knew exactly what was going on with Harvey. It was too much of an open secret. She was his uh, assistant for four years and almost everyone in Hollywood knew something shady was going up, let alone the personal assistant, not his secretary that worked in an office, his personal assistant. So I know she got clout and things in, in my heart of hearts, I know. That being said, when Harvey went away for him, uh, hashtag me too, all of her clout, all of her power went along with him. So what does she have now? Uh, what does she have? What does she do to stop herself from being lumped in with him? Oh, I'm queer. Oh, I'm a victim. Oh, I'm women. Oh, they don't like me because of this. Oh, they don't like me because of that. And that's all she has now. And that's all she's going to have. Because based on what she writes, this bitch doesn't know how to write or run a show. Is the lightsaber fighting better than the sequels? 100%. That is not saying much because the sequel trilogy fighting is horrible. Hashtag shout out to Nick Gillard, who they should have hired. Um... And so here he goes, hey, look, we all get older. We all got to pay the bills in the world. It's cracked. I get it. But it is just sad to see someone I managed for over 10. Yeah. Um, okay. And so here we go. Headland made it clear that she is indeed a proponent of woke ideology. And again, she told The Hollywood Reporter, 
honestly, I feel sad that people would think that if something were gay, that would be bad. No, and again, that's gaslighting. No one's saying if something is gay, it's bad. It's that something is gay and then written badly and forced in so that all it is is gay. Um, she then added that she was the one who was indeed sad because her show was being dismantled. Makes me feel sad that a bunch of people on the internet would somehow dismantle what I consider to be the most important piece of art that I've ever made. And what Leslie doesn't understand is that the most important art that she's ever made is shitting on the most important art that other people have already made. Uh, and the most ridiculous of uh, all of this before we leave you is her when she was trying to say that she rejects the idea that she created queer content with the acolyte. I don't believe that I've created queer with a capital Q content. And then we go on to read how most of the characters are queer coded and of course lesbian space witches the gayest star wars i think by a considerable <laughs> margin and uh are you excited about that are you not bracing the gayest yourself? star wars not the <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty gay let's be honest still a 13 percent dropped from an 85 to an 84 on the average tomato uh meter let me know what you think of this. Either way, make sure to like, share, and sub if you have done that. Thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Well, bye. <laughs>